hello and welcome again to AA Home Garden, guys. Look what I got from the shop. Seeded grapes. I haven't had grapes from the shop now for probably more than a year. Because whenever time I go to the shop, it's always seedless. So I haven't had any seeds. Sorry, any grapes <laughs> for ages because I didn't have any seeds. So I started eating them, guys. And yes, I'm going to try so and grow some more. I do have two grape vine growing in the garden. But these bunches are huge, guys. I had so much of it already. And these bunches are huge. So if I can have these growing in my garden, that'd be superb. So they're called the Red Globe from Italy. So I'm saving the seeds, guys. And I'm going to try and grow these. So all I'm going to do now is just to fold it over like that. And then wet it up with some water. Put it in a plastic bag. And hopefully it will germinate, guys. Hopefully it will germinate. So that's all I'm going to do. Just wet it up with some water and put it in a little plastic bag. Then I'm going to enjoy the rest of my snack. They're a good size, my guys. Proper. And they're actually sweet. These red globes, um, globe are actually sweet. So hopefully I'm giving myself a month. Today is the... Oh, one escape. I need to open it and put it back in. Today is the 31st of October. So I'm giving myself a month to hopefully see some movements there. But it'd be so lovely if I can have some more seeded grapes in my garden. The ones in the garden are more smaller than these. So if I can have these fat babies, that'd be superb. I see the grapes as well. You can see the seeds looking at me. And then I'm going to put it in some cocoa core because I just want some of these grapes, guys. So I'm trying to germinate the seeds. I'm keeping the fruit on. I don't know if it's just going to go moldy and weird i'm not sure probably just go moldy and weird but i'm sacrificing three of my lovely delicious grapes i'm just gonna put them in like that <laughs> you think it'll work guys i don't know <laughs> then i'm gonna get some more cocoa core put it on top and then just water it in i didn't even dump the cocoa core before so you're gonna swell up a bit then hopefully Something would happen. I don't know. What do you think? I just want to get some more good, more grapes in my garden, guys. And it's hard to get nice seeded grapes. So I'm going to put it like that. You can see the water running at the bottom. And I'm just going to leave it like that. And see which one will germinate for me, guys. The seed itself or the one with the fruit intact. Well, I'm not going to sacrifice any more of my grapes. These are going in my tummy now. So yes, guys, I'll give you an update on these in a few weeks or probably a month time to see if there's anything happening. Guys, just about a month and a half now since I start to grow my little grape. You can see they are lanky. They're looking for the light, guys. You can see my grape leaf coming through right there. So I have three in this container, guys. I think I need to change the position from where I have it. Because it's reaching for the light and it's quite lengthy. But guys, this grape was so nice and fat. So it's nice to see that some have actually germinated. So this was near the grow light in my grow tent. But it's a bit skinny. So I'm going to see if I can change the location and get it to fat up. But guys, I didn't get the chance to sort all of them. So I still had some that was in the bag. And as you can see... They're coming through. So I have a pot of compass. So I'm going to show if I can put all of them in that pot, guys. But let's open it first and see what's happening on the inside. Let's get everything out of the way. Guys, and now I'm going to grab this onto my existing grip. Vines that I have outside so I don't have to wait the entire time. That I would have to wait if I'm getting everything from seed. Oh no, so I'm actually empty out into the bag as well. Let's see what I can recover. Okay, so I can see some of those are you. Okay, this one even have the true leaves and everything on it. There it is. So all I'm going to do, guys, so I can, hopefully you can see properly. So I can see all lengthy and everything, guys. So I'm just going to see if I can take it off without damaging the roots. So, see, not all the seeds are viable, but the fact that I get, um, I got more than two, 
that's a perfect solution for me because there's a backup so that one is oh, I don't want to break the roots so I think I'm gonna break around the tissue itself let's see if this one is easier that one is not easier either so I'm gonna break around the tissue because this tissue will disintegrate after a while so that's fine so I'm just gonna break around the tissue because the roots don't want to come off um, and then hopefully oops let's see don't want to damage it guys have you grow grow from seed and graph it onto an existing vine before do let me know guys i want loads of grapes i want loads of grapes because i have to stop eating grapes because i cannot find seeded grapes in the shop so now i'm trying to grow as much as i can so in the growing season, I can indulge myself and probably make some grape juice last me into the cooler season while I'm waiting again until summer for another harvest. Well, that's the plan. So I have my own little grape orchard going. So I see if I can separate these. So guys, so yeah, some of them germinate within, I would say three weeks. So I did a video when I was putting it into this container. I was waiting for some more. Then I got distracted. So I have I got distracted. So these get overgrown because I had so much things doing. Didn't get around to it. But let's see if we can work with these first. So because they're overgrown, guys, I'm gonna see if I can put them a bit deep. Okay, let's see. So they got all there. I'm gonna put all of them in one pot. Because we're in summer now, um, summer, I wish it was summer, <laughs> we're in winter. So when next year come, I will then separate them. So you can see how long this one is. It's quite long. So I don't, I try not to break the root. So yes, guys, we can grow grapevine from shop-bought grapes. As long as we're, um, as you can see the roots there, I have to cover it with some more dirt after, but we can definitely just need a little patience, guys. And the old stratification process, I didn't bother to put. This was in the fridge originally, but I didn't keep it in the fridge for long because most of the grapes in the supermarket, they are kept in the chill section. So I know they probably would have gone through the old stratification and everything already. But just to be on the safe side, I think I kept it in the fridge for one week in total, I think. Just to make sure that process was done and I was able to get some grapes. So this nice healthy roast and everything. So happy days, guys. Happy days. I'll be getting some nice little grape seedling by spring. They will be sturdy and nice and not so lengthy. And then I just let them stay until they're um at least a good probably i don't know quarter of an inch if that much when you can manage the graphing process then i'll just graph them onto where i want it to go because i have um two grape vines that are producing actively for me in the garden so i just put it onto those this one the tissue is still in contact um uh, in contact so i'm just gonna leave that as it is I'm not gonna mess around with it guys and just put it there so the next time keep that bit above ground that's the bit where the leaves gonna come from so in in spring when you see this video you should have some nice little seedling coming up and then I'll go and examine the rest of the seeds if I see any oh there's another big one here if I see any life in any of the seeds i'm gonna let them stay on because you know the germination the germination rate varies so it's not that some of them won't germinate it's just that they take a longer time okay so i'm not gonna destroy any the more the better and funny enough somebody just asked me for a grape seed then last week so i cannot have too much guys i cannot have too much so i put that one right there so yes, it will be a lot for one pot, but because it's just because it's winter and I'm just trying to keep them alive until spring, it doesn't matter. I go and I put some cocoa core on top anyhow. 
to keep off the little insects so it will be topped up so that's the majority of the great seedlings being transplanted i go through the seeds after and see which ones to look um, viable but i saw something in the bag guys i saw a root there it is so i'm going for that one i'm going for that one i'm not wasting any guys i'm not wasting any so you can see there's root on this one lovely 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 so yes guys so you saw when i got the grape from the supermarket and i was eating it and then i just save the seeds so that's how easy it is guys so that's it so i'm gonna finish this video here and then in spring i show you my babies so i have this one that i need to put up some more support it and put it somewhere don't stretch for the light too much then i'm gonna top this up with some cocoa cores like i do this one to get rid of any spider mites or aphids or anything they don't like the surface of the cocoa core so it deter them a lot so that's it guys so until next time keep gardening take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell